Hi, today I'm going to talk about Thinset a little bit. When you're new to mosaics, it can be a bit overwhelming going to the home improvement store and having to buy this 20 pound bag of Thinset. And it's really important to store it well. It needs to be kept in an airtight container. So while you're there, if you don't already have a snap lid bucket, get some kind of snap lid container or a bucket. And then you can store it anywhere in an out of the way place like the garage or your basement, as long as it's sealed tightly. Also, take some out and you can put it into a smaller airtight container to keep handy in your studio so you don't have to deal with the big bucket every time you need to mix a little thin set. Okay, so now we're gonna do a quick tutorial about mixing thin set. I like to have something, uh, my water containers and everything all together. And of course, our container. I always start by pouring a little water in the bottom. That keeps it from getting stuck down there. And um, always safety first. We have to wear a mask. During all the time that the thin set is in its powdered form. So I'm just going to dump a little bit in here and start mixing and see where I'm at in a water to thin set ratio. We want to get to about the consistency of brownie batter. And it's really easy to overwater. So it's good to use a spray bottle to add water from here on out. I might still skip to this because I'm pretty dry yet. And we just want to get all the lumps out. And you're going to learn how you like to have the thin set. I like mine a little bit on the stiffer side. Now we're pretty well mixed. And I'm just going to let this sit and slake for a minute while I get some other things ready. Okay, so now we're back. I have my thin sets all slaked and ready to go. And I like to put it in a Ziploc bag in order to dispense it and make it sort of like a little pastry bag. Just a note about Ziploc bags. Um, they come in different thicknesses and different weights. So it's always better to use the storage bag rather than the sandwich bag style because they're a little heavier and they hold up to being used like a pastry bag for a while. Also, in some places you can get other bags that are even thicker. This is a four mil bag. Um, I like to use those the most, but they're not available to everybody. And what we're gonna do is just tuck this bag into a cup and turn the top over so that we don't get the zipper all messed up give our thin set a new stewer. And at this point, uh, the face mask really isn't necessary because it's no longer a powder floating about. And we're just gonna fill this up. One more scoop. And now, fold our bag up, take it out, and I like to zip it most of the way closed, and then squeeze everything down to one corner and get as much air out at this point as you can before zipping it shut. And now, we have it down. And you can use tape or a rubber band, but it's helpful to put something around this portion so that it's not like coming back up the top. If you've ever decorated cakes, I'm sure you're quite familiar. One more time. And now we have our scissors and we just cut off 
a little corner of this and then you can simply apply your thin set a little bit at a time it also keeps this from drying out and hardening and allows you a longer work time because i'm setting these tiles without a lot of cutting i'm spreading a good area of thin set so and getting it spread evenly as possible two of my favorite tools are this italian spatula and this tiny palette knife because it allows me to get in smaller spaces so now that i got that all spread out i also like to make a little glop on the edge and i use this if i need to dip because I need a little extra in a spot. I'm just lightly sticking them because I'm going to need to adjust. Here's another little tip. I always keep a little cup with water that I throw my pieces I pick out so I can wash them quick later. Right now I'm not worried too much about positioning them. I just need to get them in order. Now that I have them all lightly in, I need to make sure my lines are going semi straight. So that again, it's good for the spatula. I can turn this on the turntable and look each direction, see that they're lined up with the row then separate these and get them kind of where I need. When you're working up the edge, it, they tend to want to slide down a little bit, so you need to do a little overcompensating. And then once that's there, I give them a light tap to set them into the thin set well. Check my lines again and move on to the next part. The very best choice for exterior mosaics is thin set mortar. You must check the version you are using is rated for your climate. How do you know if it's rated for your climate? Read the label. And remember, never put this down the drain unless uh, you want to call the plumber. I want to talk about safety when working with any grout or thin set or cement based product. They contain silicates and that become airborne when they're dry. So it's really important to wear an N95 mask or a respirator because these particulates are really dangerous for your lungs. And remember, life's a mosaic, you pick the pieces.